Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to start a new chapter that is number theory of mathematics and statistics. So the first topic in numerical theorem is division theorem. So basically every one of us learned this division theorem when we are kids. Like in 7th, 6th, 5th class, we have learned this division theorem guys. Even though the same division theorem is repeated here, there is no proof or anything like that in this chapter. So we'll be assuming two integers x and y to be two integers and q be the coefficient and p be the reminder belongs to z. Z is nothing but the integers guys. These all belongs to integers such that x is equals to some coefficient into y plus q. Yes, this is a true statement guys. This is what we called call as division theorem. So if reminder is 0, x is equals to q, y. Right? That's true. So now let us take a small example. So we want to divide 2 with 10. Okay? So 2 will be writing here 10. So 2, 5s are 10. So 10, 0. So this we call as divisor, dividend, coefficient, reminder. So if you want to try this. So 10 is equals to q, into d q into this plus this 5 2 is a 10 plus 0 okay guys i hope everyone got the same result like me fine here x is dividend q is coefficient y is divisor and p is the reminder okay these are all the things that you should just have an idea on it so there may be questions like this see here 31 by 5a plus 7b plus 11c is equals to 1 by 2 okay so we need to find the values of ABC so I'll be cross multiplying them so that I got 62 is equals to 5a plus 7b plus 11c okay so just by observing you need to try to guess the numbers of a B and C guys okay it that should be a random guess or in some cases this integer will not be given he will be just giving directly like this so you will be taking 1 to 2 assumption cases like a is equals to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to 1 you should try to get an integer or at least a normal decimal like 0 0.5 1.5 2.5 like that okay better to get an integer okay so when i substituted a equal to 1 b equal to 5 c equal to 2 i got 62 equal to 62 that's how we proved that okay guys so now i hope everyone got a small idea on division theorem so now let us go through modular arithmetics guys modular arithmetics is nothing guys i think everyone most of you have at least learned c as that's one of the most uh, important subject for any branch student okay so in c if you use mod you're gonna get the reminder that's nothing but if you use slash you're gonna get the if you use percentage you're gonna get the reminder okay guys so that's this modular so a mod n is equals to the reminder which is nothing but a is the dividend by divided by n a is equals to q n plus r so there is nothing to do guys 16 mod 12 means you'll be just writing the reminder so 12 ones are 12 16 minus 12 which is equals to 4 Similarly, 9 ones are 9, 12 minus 9, 3. Okay, but in this case, it is a bit different, guys. Okay, so basically, the reminders mostly should be always be positive. Okay, that's one of the things that you should remember. It should be positive. And if the value is negative, you can convert it into positive, guys. So whenever I am trying to do in this way, let us assume 5, okay, so I want to find this, okay, first I will be assuming that, let us assume 1, so I got 5, okay, is this the correct way, just give me a second, so we will be getting minus 3 and if I assume to go to 2, I will be getting 10, so I will be getting positive 2, so this is what I have just used here. So in this way you will be doing the modular division and division theorem. These are the two applications that you will be using. So in next we will be going through integer representation. Thank you. Thanks for watching.